it's the more you train, the more you feel the help of, is to escape from the mouth, but understand that it should not be, you should not be spending all your energy escaping from the bottom. We over here make sure my elbows are always touching your leg, the elbow, the, right here, it's like a knife. Not having my arm above my body line. Because every time that happens, my partner has a better control, it's very difficult for me to escape or stay in a safe position. My partner will be mounting on me. The first thing I wanna make sure you guys do is keep him seated on your belt. This way, every movement I do, I make him lose his balance. And if you notice my elbow, it's right, it's like stabbing him on his thigh. Now is the thing, one of my legs must be touching the floor. See, if I go like this, his legs are under. Then if I try to push his leg, I'm end up blocking myself. See, I'm holding his leg and trying to get out. Make sure I'm walking to the side, just enough that my leg is on the floor now. If I put that leg on the ground, I automatically put this elbow between his knee and my body. There we go. See, can you raise your shoulders for a second? Ted, see my hand, how it goes? My elbows must be close to me. Every time I raise, it's gonna control you all. That's, that's trouble. I'm here. No matter what he does now, see? One side only. <clears throat> now I continue to roll in this way. Automatically, he loses balance. See where my head goes? I'm going towards his leg, then I get right here. If we try to stretch, now it makes better for him to control you. And look how long my body is. For more than I try to get my leg out, he can cut my elbow. And man, I'm back into a square one. Right here, he mounts. I make sure I adjust. See how the leg goes. I move into the side. On the ground, elbow in. Now my head goes inside. Now for more than he's trying to adjust himself. If he touch my elbow, my leg gets up. And use your leg as a shield. Don't try to put him in your half guard, because now he has to deal with this leg no matter what. Okay, whatever he's trying to get your leg out gives me chance now to keep moving. Now I have him back into my guard, and I want to have the hooks. Okay, see one leg up, one leg down. He loses balance. The key is I walk to the side. As soon as I stretch my leg, I turn, and I want to get underneath him this way. That's how we move our hip, right? Because if I stretch, my body is too long and I'm trying to lift his leg. No, I'm going with my head towards his leg. Come one more time. You fold your body in half, that is half a size. Now notice that if my elbow is not there, no matter how, what skip I try, not only he's heavy, but I'm very limited. He's blocking my hip. I move one shoulder at a time, look. Right there. No matter what he does now, it became a ball. Hard for to throw a ball. He can do whatever he wants if my leg is out. Here we go. See? And the beauty on that is I have a lot of options to do once I get my leg in. If he hugs me, he loses balance. I don't have to do much. I don't want to make sure I get the lower leg in. Again. He's not making too hard for me now. Raise for a second. See here? Move, elbow, now turn and do it after. If I try to block and move my hip away, very hard. I become a ball, look. See how he split the things apart? Get your leg up. And for the higher belt, you already realize that I can just block him right here. Now, whatever he tries to do, how you get out from the leg? See, he gets away from me. It's even helping me, all right? We do this movement, and we use that more than you can imagine. But you see, I'm going this way, not this way, all right? Walk your leg to the side. As soon as I stretch, I turn and continue doing this. Get my leg up. What people, come over here, Ted, ask and realize like, oh, if you do that, you're gonna get punched in the face. We had the conversation before. Yes, you will get hurt, hit in the face, and you should get hit in the face, you deserve. Let somebody get this far on you, 
you deserve some a little taste of. But the reality is, is no way out for you. You're gonna get a hit on the face. The question now is how hard. I want to make sure that doesn't happen as hard that I'm not able to continue. That's why somebody mount my elbows in. Look. Let's see how close we are. It's hard for him to do anything now. And here, trust me, the more I train, the more options you see just because of this, okay? I don't know if you guys see what I see now, but look at this. Oh, Dad, sorry. You understand? Just because of this. All right? Get your partner line back for me. It's important as a partner for me to help him in the beginning. I want to feel a stab on my thigh. Very well, relax, relax, just a little, not too much. I cannot move forward. Now stretch your leg on the ground, turn your body, fold in half. There we go. It's one movement, not two, not three, okay? Once you turn your body, don't stop. See, head, leg on the ground, go. All right, slip away. You don't bench press nobody. All right, let's see if we can match size as partner. Evidently, higher belt or lower belt is a must. Okay, one, two, three. Then make sure you trap the top one and I block this way. But important is some people like to have guard, they trapped and they work from here. I want to completely get away from him. See, blocking his shoulder, my arms inside, just to get my second leg out. But there's nothing wrong to bring him to your half guard. This is, gives you a lot more options. But in the end, I want to make sure he does not mount on me. One more time. The biggest difference is I don't fold my body as much. Say turn, see where his foot is. Then I bring the heel in, out, and now right away on the other side. Unless you want him to be in your half guard. All right? The difference is in the first one, my elbow goes all the way down. On the second one, see how far my body is? And my knee comes in, I'm making this motion. Some people go underneath to hold the leg. Can I borrow you, Ted? All possible if I keep him on top of my hip. See, I'm trying to get in, he's blocking, look. My leg now gets out. On the other side, mount. Same thing, I turn left. See, Jules, I'm putting a lot of tension on his foot. Oh, he's blocking my leg, good. I get out my knee. Every time somebody put their foot on your knee, back up a little, pop up. Again. But the key is keep him on top of the hip. Block my leg. When he blocks the leg, back your hip up. Look. Neither the other leg gets out. All right? The difference is fold a lot, fold a little less. Then I'm doing this more. As soon as I do that, block the leg, finish your move. One, two, three. 